Right, let's look at markers and regions. So drag our tracks in and very quickly going to throw some markers in. Uh, doesn't matter where they are, these aren't going to make a lot of sense. But this is basically what you do is listen to the song and put the markers in where the intro and the verses and the choruses are. So now we can navigate the song much more easily. Okay, put one in for the end. And I'll go through the shortcut, specific shortcuts that I have that I find useful. Uh, so when the song's playing and there's a, mar a marker point that you want to put in, pop, goes in where the uh, play cursor is. Okay, so I'll go. I'll come back to that. Um, how that works. Um, to get rid of, I just press down Alt and click on the marker. Now, um, markers are useful because now we can navigate and we can um, edit the markers and give them a name. So you get verse two. Uh, I find it is more useful um, for them to be regions rather than markers. So I have a shortcut to convert all those markers into regions. Okay, so there's the whole project there. And then they're now regions. So I can pull up the region manager and go here. Clicking on each section takes us through. So here we are. I would call this intro, verse one, verse two, chorus one, tag, verse three, verse four, chorus two, end. For example, that's how that might, how a song might look. Um, this is this isn't accurate. What's 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 in here now? Um, so now I can see right. There's verse one, verse two, chorus one, tag, verse three, verse four, chorus two, end. Now I'm going to go back and show you how, what I have set up. Um, just really specifically, uh, the first one is this one insert marker at play cursor so it's not just create marker or or insert marker it's in insert marker at play cursor so that when the songs when you're listening through to the song for the very first time essentially you can just be throwing markers in um as you hear a change in section so that just on the first listen of a new song that you you've got to work on um you can throw the structure in as it's happening um so that's uh, in the actions list, insert marker at play cursor. So then the next one I had was this one, convert markers to regions. Uh, again, this is a custom shortcut, so you just make your own shortcut for that. Uh, so it's SWS, convert markers to regions. You'll need to download um, SWS extensions from here, sws-extension.org, and save them into your library where you save all your Reaper extensions and things. Uh, so then the next um, shortcut was the region manager. Uh, so that was this window here, which showed me how I could go to each region, double click, tab, 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 to rename everything. 
Okay, so that one was view show region marker manager window. Okay, that's it. That's a really quick way of uh, laying out the structure of a song.